16 chat tables, eight round tables, eight workshops, four tours, unlimited interactions, and promise of a lot of collaborations, a lot of partnerships, and amazing, amazing work. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you to the valedictory session of the fourth RISE Summit, RISE 2016. Thank you so much for all your interaction or support through these two days. Uh, we've had stalwarts in, in a variety of disciplines come here, grace the occasion, meet in small groups, and all these discussions are going to lead to something very, very dynamic, very, very transformational, not only for Mumbai, but I think for all of India. So thank you for coming and sharing of your experience, of your expertise, and your willingness to collaborate and to take forward of what could really be something which will impact this country for years to come. We are very, very fortunate to have with us the chief guest for the evening, uh, uh, the, our uh, MLA advocate Ashish Shailar. We'll hear from him shortly. And uh, just to, we don't want to take this, uh, to make this a very long uh, program, but we would love to hear, uh, to get a kind of an idea as to what happened over these two days. And what I would like to do is to call upon a few of you to share from your experience in the, in the table, the tables you were in, the rooms you were in, so we get a kind of an idea as to what happened over these two days with so many people participating here in St. Paul's. Uh, may I first call upon Mr. Vikas Putran from Give, Give India. And uh, maybe have a mic for uh, Mr. Putran, please. Yeah. I, I conducted a workshop on fundraising for NGOs. Uh, I think it was a very lively audience. Uh, we sh I kind of shared some of the basics of fundraising, some of the challenges, some of the modes of fundraising, how do you tap into CSR money, how do you work with corporate, how do you work with aggregators and things like that. I think it was a pretty interactive audience, which I like. Uh, it was not a lecture session, uh, so it was more interactive. I think uh, hopefully uh, that helps all the audience, all the stakeholders in the room. Uh, I think most of the NGOs were looking to raise funds. Uh, so I hope that that's food for thought at least. If not, uh, ideas, uh, some of the ideas probably they can implement and try themselves as well. Uh, and learn from some of the learnings that we have already experienced uh, in, in doing fundraising for a long time. Thank you, Mr. Putran. Mr. Putran is a, is a, is a very important member of our core committee. Uh, thank you so much. I think that must have been a great session. I know people are looking forward to that. May I call upon another member of our core committee, Ms. Neha Bhaktani from Tata Capital. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, this is my first RISE Summit. And uh, from all the events on CSR and sustainability that I've uh, attended, this is a very, very different format. Uh, and uh, uh, I thank Karen and the entire team for putting this all together. Uh, with the different round tables and chat tables that I've uh, attended, uh, the takeaway is that once we got chatting and once we got discussing about uh, the common issues that um, all, our uh, all the people are working on, and we see that there are so many streaks where we can collaborate and uh, you know take this forward. So um, uh, so let's see how this really goes in the future. And I wish the team all the best. Plan. Anyway, now is uh, is the time we're all waiting for. I would like to invite on stage uh, the uh, MLA from Me Member of Legislative Assembly, Bandra Assembly Constituency, Advocate Ashish Shilarji to come up. Uh, he's also the the City President of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Uh, second time running, in fact, and uh, but more more importantly, I think uh, the reason he's here, and it's for people who have been living in this area and interacting with him ever since he was a corporator, is because one is his 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 learning about subjects, his knowledge about subjects is amazing. He never fails to amaze us with the kind of depth of knowledge he has. Secondly, his his willingness to come up and actually support any cause that is good, that is right, that is just and give us the right guidance and direction. So I think there's no one better than him to come and give us the valedictory closing address. Mr. Ashish Shilar, please. Good evening to everybody. Naresh and all my friends who are gathered here. The kind of introduction about me has been given by Naresh has practically put me into a problem. Because I have told Naresh that today I'll be only a listener, and he practically told me to give a validity speech now. So I'm unprepared. I've read about the rise, I've interacted with the Naresh, 
obviously i was hearing i was listening the experiences of some of the members who has participated and raised the concept in itself which has given a new idea to the larger society i genuinely feel that this concept in itself breakthrough interaction and a collective impact many times even i do participate into many programs where the all stakeholders come together there are round table conferences chat tables interactions and what we see lastly is that at the end of the program everybody goes away with one thought that what i was saying was the right thing and nobody uploaded it sometimes we do hear this also that my point which i put forward unfortunately nobody supported me or sometimes we do come across such thought that all everybody was foolish and nobody was ready to come on my submission what i could gather after seeing the faces here that such kind of thinking is not reflecting on anybody's face and everybody is looking that they have enjoyed the rice in a proper way with the spirit which with karan or naresh wanted it should be to happen and i think that is a success of this summit i have not listened or participated into many sessions more many round tables or chats being a member of legislative assembly or a corporator for very long time or now as a member of a ruling party government president there are some thoughts in my mind which i am trying to share with you all it is good that the society is cultivating their own thought by way of a participation of every stakeholders today what was i listening is that corporates are also here the activists are there ngos representatives students they all are participating and trying to achieve the best for the society this time in the summit if i am not wrong the subject is obviously about women and empower, women empowerment environment and all other issues i don't wanted to stick to one issue in particular my experiences as a elected representative is this that in last 15 to 20 years i am not casting the reason to abc but is that the politicians is the worst enemy on this earth they are the creature which needs to be killed immediately or if at all anybody makes a movie the amitabh's earlier days movies the movies used to be villain used to be some gunda of that particular area who occupies the empty space or plots and then the hero fights against him or with him then the scene changed that somebody who is creating a cruelty to the woman is a villain and eventually now it has been seen that in practically all movies the politician has been shown as a villain and therefore my first request to all of you would be that let's have open mind for everybody including politician the second point obviously the expectation of the country the citizens is growing because maybe 10 15 years prior there was not an opportunity for all of us to know many things we may get the information because we have students from media and communication and all that sector that that time the information used to get maybe on bbc news or something like that many channels was also blocked there was no access to the channels radio channels forget internet in last 10 years or so and the situation today after the geo is that that 4g is giving you all real time data on your 
on your hand so your access to the entire world is very fast the real time data is only having the lapse of maybe some seconds so whatever is happening maybe in the sweden or swedish countries you will come to know maybe within a half a minute by sitting in your room or your bedroom or your bedroom and therefore obvious expectations about that reforms are very high and it is normal it is understandable but at the same time we as a community together many a times needs to find the solution which is not only real time data base information but real fact local information and therefore on that note mrs redkar is here she is working on the toilet issues swachhata issues or many more issues but what makes me more happy about her working is this that though by knowing all the hurdles which she feel, feels or she knows she is not giving away her target what i am trying to say that today when we all stakeholders have come together our expectations about the reforms and change needs to be based on a real information difficulty analysis thank you mr shelar and i think uh, after your speech uh, we are quite justified in i think asking you to speak i think i think we would have lost out on something if we had just asked, had you to sit here and listen uh, and i think um, like we completely take what you said Uh, the fact that we had a representative of the Thane Municipal Corporation as well as uh, well, Mr. Redkar, you always part of Mumbai Municipal Corporation, retired or not, uh, with us, uh, and this, the, I think the second value I inclusive. I think that's something which goes to uh, elected representatives as well, and I think it's a point well taken. I think if this body can, you know, actually put up these uh, the the issues that rise up, all the solutions which are practical, and uh, which has come in from the wealth of experience around these tables, if it comes to the government, and if that impact can multiply across this country, I think they. I don't think. I think. I think Karen will be having a wonderful night tonight. Good night's sleep. Yeah. So thank you once again, Mr. Shilar. It was. Uh, it's a pleasure having you here with us. Uh, finally, before we uh, end, and with a word of thanks from uh, Karen. I just like to remind you that uh, of course rise uh, the formal uh, aspect of rise gets over now but tomorrow there is a social tour to pune which unfortunately is closed uh, but the day after tomorrow there's a tribal village lunch in uh, in arimbal colony uh, it's it's a very very reasonable uh, the price thing i think it's 350 rupees that's it that would cover it so if you're interested uh, can you uh, you could uh, approach any idol bro volunteer out here and register for the same it will be a great experience and uh, now i give you uh, karan shiva chief impact officer of idobro uh, who will address us and actually give a vote of thanks but before that i think on behalf of all of us uh, we would like to give karan a huge vote of thanks and a big round of applause i know like i'm watching her for 4 years and this is this is a dream which she has held and which she has uh, got to fruition and uh, i think everybody is working with her knows uh, what karan goes through uh, before <laughs> this comes on and uh, she's got a great team of people who absolutely love her so they 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 like kind of going to come in and pitch in with whatever they've got but i think the single single minded devotion to the whole concept of collaboration is what drives karan and i think uh, karan please come up on stage and uh, be acknowledged and also please go ahead and acknowledge everybody who made this work thank you so much I always do the welcome and the thank you speech not because uh, I like to talk which I do <laughs> but because I I really genuinely think that is my duty to do that uh to welcome each one of you has always been a pleasure but to thank you I think has been the bigger responsibility that I have and uh, first and foremost I would like to thank Father Dominic, I see he's not. Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. There, okay. So, Father Dominic, may you please stand and take a standing bow for us, so, for saying yes and for allowing us to do and literally take over this institute for two days. And you know, when we were discussing, and I told him, I will take every inch of space that you give me. He said, like, which classroom do you want? Which one do you want? What do you want? I said, Father, I need every inch of space that you can give me. And honestly, when he said yes, I, it was unbelievable. He actually gave us the entire, and not just one, 
But the second building too, finally, because it was raining and we had no other option in terms of uh, using space. And he's like, don't worry, we, will, we are there to support you. So thank you very much. Uh, next, I would like to acknowledge the guys who did a good job. Please take a standing bow. <laughs> so can I have all the students of St. Paul stand, please? Thank you. I had many, many people come and tell me, wow, your volunteers were so nice, you know? So I went and told my team, the nice is all good, but are they doing work? <laughs> so they said, no, no, they're really doing work. So thank you so much, because without that, you know, a lot of our work is not possible, yeah? Uh, next, I would like to thank is my core committee and the experts. Uh, Vikas didn't say this, but he's, because you said not three years, but uh, Vikas and Naresh and a few more also have been with us literally from the first year and have not stopped. So it is absolutely, believe me, without them, this would not be possible. So I would like to ask all the uh, experts and co committee members to please stand up and take a bow. Whoever are here, yeah, you are part of it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And Last but not the least, I want my team, without whom I would not exist. It's as simple as that. Please stand. I don't know, team. Team, I don't know. Come on. Thank you. As Naresh said, these are the people who have actually really made my dream, my, my vision come through. And it's really not possible for one person to do this alone. You can just have a vision, but if you can't you know, really implement it, then that's all it remains, right? A dream. And so I thank one of each and every one of you for this making this happen. Um, I would also be remiss if I did not uh, thank all our different partners who have also been part of this journey. Uh, some of whom have been right with us, again, right from the beginning. And, uh, you know, that's the amazing thing, right? That if people stick with you, I mean, that there must be something we are doing right if that is happening. So, uh, especially partners like Glenmark, um, Ambuja Cement Foundation, and um, the Bombay Stock Exchange have been partners with us almost right from the beginning. And, and I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Because if we didn't have even that support, I don't know how we would do it, yeah? Uh, for the very simple reason, uh, you know, RISE doesn't work on a, as a typical event as you all have heard already, right? So it also doesn't work on sponsorships, you know? We work on a very different model, and, and that model means that unless somebody's committed to work with us long term on projects, on other kind of work, how would we actually make this happen? So very often we don't even know if we can actually make it happen, but God's great, and we always uh, finally manage to do that. So partners like them, of course, very important. Our country partner, Sweden, I mean, it definitely adds, because for us, the world is is the playing ground. It is not just about, I, you know, I always say, you first start with saying, I'm from this country, you're that country. Then you'll say, I'm from the north part and I'm south part. And then you'll start saying, I'm from this state and that state, and then this district. And it doesn't stop, right? Because we always have those boundaries that we put. So for me, uh, to kind of create a sense of that we are all global citizens and human beings first is really important. And therefore, having a country partner becomes very important. It's not so much about else. So Sweden has been a great country partner, and we are really happy to have them on board. We also had the UN Global Compact. Uh, I think the SDGs are so critical and so important right now. I mean, everybody has a role to play in achieving them. I mean, we did not, we could not, you know, achieve the MDGs. And I, and I sincerely hope that this is not going to happen again with the SDGs. So I think all of us have a responsibility and all of us have a role to play in achieving them. So highlighting that was very important for us at RISE this year, and we will continue to do so. So having UN Global Compact as our partner was, again, as I said, very important. Uh, as Naresh mentioned, there's a tour to Pune tomorrow, and our partners, the Swedish Institute, uh, Sandvik, and Thermax are our partners for that 
event and uh, it's again a great addition as uh, you know you said Ravi uh, we try every year to do something new so this year a social tour was added to the whole program to make sure that we could and unfortunately because that was a closed program we tried to make sure that we had another open program so anybody else who was not part of the Swedish Institute program could also take part in a tour which is why we had the WWH tribal village lunch that has been organized at RA on uh, Saturday and I hope more of you are going to participate over there. Uh, we have also had uh, our other partners who have, have contributed in multiple ways, and one of the biggest thing has been Green TV. It is a CSR channel that focuses on farmers and other issues, social issues, and they have been just brilliant. They have been covering our work continuously, taking everybody's feedback, uh, you know, sound bites, etc. And I think they've done a simply amazing job. So thank you, Green TV. I really, really do appreciate the work you've done. We also have a technology partner. For the first time, we've actually been able to have the time and bandwidth to put up a website decently. Otherwise, we would always be so stretched that, you know, that was the last thing that would come to our mind. We tell others, it's like every good doctor, you give medicine, but you never take medicine yourself. We tell others, you know, create awareness, but we would never be able to create awareness about our own work. So yeah, so this time we, we have our technology partner, Coens, and unfortunately Himanshu is not here, but uh, a great job and thank you very much, yeah. Uh, Canon has been our print partner and uh, they'll be helping us with a lot of the print stuff that we are going to do. And last but not the least, I want to thank each and every program partner. There are too many, so I'm not going to get into each individual one, just as I could not take each co-partner, co-committee member or individual team member name, I can't take the program partner names individually, but I would definitely want to tell you that please believe me, without you, this would not be possible. And to end it all, I would like to thank each one of you who stayed back because, you know, like our whole concept is to focus on the round tables and the workshops and the chat tables. So the inauguration and the ending uh, is always something that only, I think, hardcore fans of, of uh, RISE really wind up uh, staying or coming for. So I thank you for the bottom of my heart for being here this evening for us to close RISE, but not just to end because this is just the beginning for the next year and I will see you again next year. Thank you so very much.